Hello everyone, my name is Najmedan Rahman. I am an Uyghur living in the Netherlands. I am recording this video to testify about the Chinese concentration camps and its impact on my family members. The last time I contacted with my family members was at the end of 2015. That time my mother was on the phone crying while she was telling me that my father Mahmoud Rahman, 49 years old, was sentenced to one year prison and accused of committing a political crime and sent from Kashgar city to Aksu to serve his time. At the same time, my younger brother Alamjan Mahmoud was also accused of committing a political crime and sending his six months time in Kashgar city. That time I was also told not to call them as China made it crime for Uyghurs to contact family members living on an abroad. In order not to put them in, in further danger, I did not contact them. But in, in the year 2018, I received news that my grandfather, Raman Idris, at his 70s, died in concentration camps located in Kashgar city. As I did not receive this news from my immediate family members, as I had no way of contacting them, I did try to find out more information about the death of my grandfather and as to why he was taken to camps and why he died. And somehow I did manage to find someone who was living on, ab on abroad who knew about the death of my grandfather. He told me that my grandfather was taken to China's detention center in Kashgar in the year 2016, June. And uh, after spending one month there in detention center, he got very sick and uh, taken to hospital. And he died in the hospital. I think it was due to ill treatment and abuses in detention center. As I was mourning for the unlawful detention and the death of my grandfather, I received another news, another bad news, that my father, Mahmoud Rahman, also died in Chinese camps in Kashgar city. And uh, many of my male family members are in camps as well. Then I did try to contact my family members again, but still I could not succeed on getting them on the phone. Therefore, I did try to Chinese official. I did try to contact Chinese officials, police stations in Kashgar city, but nobody was willing to tell me where about some of my family members and the reasons that my family, my, my dad and my grandfather died and why he, they, were, they, they were taken to camps. And this is my younger brother Alamjan who could be in concentration camps now at the moment. And this is my mother, Razvangul, and this is my sister, Ainur, and this is my other sister, Nurbiya Mahmud, and this is her grand, this is her son. So I don't know whereabouts of my other family members and their well-being. By making this video, I am making an appeal to the free world and the people with fair mind and the governments who stands for human rights to help Uyghurs and me to free my family members from, my, from concentration camps and who believes that nobody should be taken to concentration camps 
due to their beliefs or belong to a different ethnic group. And I ask Muslim governments to be not sold out to China's money and its political support. Maybe they are, when the maybe when the Chinese government is done with Uyghurs, they will come for you. Don't think that Chinese government will support you in long term. Please spread this video if you believe that my family members and other millions of Uyghurs should be saved from concentration camps. Thanks.